Moore and the Weather Service Fusion Team, Bob Holmes, Chuck Shady, and myself would like to welcome you to this demonstration and test of NWS Chat. It is our hope that you'll find this tool extremely useful in real-time communication among our agencies. Uh, the overview provided today will address the newest features and some of the more commonly asked questions we've received. Um, our presenter today is Shane Searcy, Information Technology Officer at our Weather Service Forecast Office in Des Moines. And Shane is also part of the NWS Chat admin team who support this application. So without further ado, take it away, Shane. Well, thanks, Noreen, and uh, welcome to the USGS and the Army Corps of Engineers. Um, today we're going to uh, discuss NWS Chat Live. As many of you may already know and have used NWS Chat primarily through the live or web browser interface, uh, uh, this does uh, provide a lot of great tools for collaboration and coordination of weather information, river information, flow, and all of that sort of stuff. So uh, we just, uh, if you can hold your questions uh, till the end, uh, we'll go ahead and take those then as we discuss uh, mostly knobology with this system. So the quick overview, I'm going to mention handles a couple of different times. You can think of handles uh, just like a nickname. So if your name is, is James, but uh, you go by Jim, that's sort of what we're doing. Uh, I know my first name is actually Marvin. I go by my middle name, Shane. I think of it as a nickname. If somebody addresses me as Marvin, uh, who doesn't know me, I won't look over, look over my shoulder to them. So handles are how we uh, get folks' attention and know where you're located and who you work for in the NWS chat world. Again, we'll go over some of the knobology of using the website. Um, then we'll talk about the bot messages or the NWS bot messages. You'll hear us refer to that with a couple of different names. Then finally, we're going to uh, see how you get some help and then finally, uh, if you folks want to send a test message, uh, we'll be able to do that in uh, a chat room or two or whichever agency chat room, room you are associated with. Um, and then, so I'll return to that frame here in a little bit. <clears throat> the NWS Chat Live website is, a, is accessed through this URL. It works best uh, with Firefox, pretty much any recent version, Chrome, even Opera, uh, and some versions of IE. Internet Explorer 8 and 9 work quite well. Older versions of IE, such as 6 or 7, do not work very well at all. And IE 10, which is just now coming out with Windows 8, uh, really does not work at all. Uh, we are working on getting that uh, remedied, uh, but due to the, uh, what I want to say, the development cycle and the staging cycle, it does take us some time to get this uh, through, all the hoops jump through, if you will. The coding itself isn't so much a problem, it's just getting everything approved. Okay, so once you have an NWS chat account, which this, the rest of this is assuming you have an NWS chat account, if you don't, uh, you can get that, of course, request that here on the NWS Chat homepage here. And then partners such as the USGS or the Army Corps of Engineers will use this link. Now once you have your account, it's been approved by your cooperating office and you've taken your mandatory training, which only takes a few seconds, you would return to the NWS Chat Live website and you'll always be presented with this login screen first. And so we're going to log in with my username. Uh, for, for me, I am nwsshane.searcy. Somebody for the USGS will, of course, be prefaced with USGS, or the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers will be COE, first name, last name, separated by a period. And then we have a password, of course, and we have all, uh, since we're all in the federal government, we know how much fun it can be managing passwords. Uh, we do have uh, a pretty frequent password change policy that the Weather Service side of the house has to follow uh, every 60 days. For uh, um, Though it's not enforced by NWS chat, um, but the 180-day re requirement is uh, forced for all users, media, 
USGS, CORE, Weather Service, whomever. So, you, of course, every uh, 60 days, in fact, or uh, 180 days leading up to your password expiring, you'll receive an email from the system at two weeks before expiration, at a week before expiration, one day before expiration, and finally, uh, the day it expires and you're locked out. As soon as you change your account password, you will receive, you'll no longer receive those uh, nagging emails. Uh, once a year, of course, you have to com recomplete the mandatory training. Again, it only takes a few seconds, and it's exactly the same frames. I will add that often we see, uh, especially for new accounts, uh, that first mandatory training email that comes to your account will typically, well, not typically, but certainly a uh, not insignificant part of the time will end up in the spam folder or your junk folder. So if you don't get that right away, and I've already dealt with a couple of those today, just look for it in your spam folder. Okay, so now we'll continue logging in. And and you, if, if, you, uh, if your uh, uh, policy allows, you can choose to have the browser save your login information. I'll do that here just as a demonstration. And now we'll go back and we'll see if it remembered. Okay, it didn't because I cho chose no there. It's out of habit for me. Um, browser save login. And we can go back and do that. Of course, uh, if, your, if your policy doesn't allow for that, don't select that. Finally, once you have your username and password in the login screen, go ahead and hit login. And one of the first things uh, I'll talk about, we're going to talk about pretty much everything on here, but I do want to talk about space management. Some of you may not like everything that you see uh, on this screen. For example, maybe today you're not interested in the map um, for whatever reason. If you look around, you'll see these up or right or sometimes left chevrons. And if you click those, certain aspects of the screen will disappear. Uh, again, this typically works best in Firefox or Chrome, but it should work pretty well in IE 8 or 9. You can make that come back just by clicking it again. Other frames can be moved in and out, again, with the left or the right chevrons. There's not really one down here in the chat area because typically that's the information you're going to want to be sharing uh, the most. You can do that over here on the left as well once you're logged into your uh, chat rooms. You can also move your mouse over various places and adjust left or right or up and down. And I typically like to do that uh, to see maybe a little more of the map. So just put your mouse wherever those boundaries are, and you'll see those that cursor change, then you can drag it to the appropriate width. In the upper left, you'll see uh, not too many menus, just a couple, an actions menu. Um, most of the time, you're not going to be in here too much. I'm not going to cover like chatting with specific users today. Uh, again, we're talking mostly about group chat, which I'll get to shortly. You can change your your co the color of your text messages that you send or your background color if that helps you uh, uh, find them to be more readable. Um, your status menu just says, I'm available, I'll be right back, or am I, I am away. There is no method with NWS Chat Live here in the browser to make a custom message at this time. Uh, you can change those, and maybe somebody may not private message you, uh, which you can do, again, in this system. Again, that's over here in um, the Actions menu with Chat with User. Um, perhaps you're on a conference call and you don't want to be bothered, so you can change that to Away. Moving on, one more menu. You can have specific messages come in with default sounds. Or, or maybe you never want to hear a bot message. Um, for example, an FLW or an RVF, something like that issued from the Weather Service. Uh, a whole bunch of other things in here that you can, uh, you would have to make the setting change or disable and hit save. And you can also adjust the volume. Um, 
if you don't want any sounds, just a single click up there on that speaker will mute it or unclick it again and it will unmute. Um, okay, moving along, some of the uh, more important uh, menus other than where you type are over here on the left. It typically opens up with this Buddies menu expanded. Now, I have a lot. For those of you that don't know me, I'm one of the NWS chat administration team for the whole country. So I guess I get the privilege of seeing a lot of people. Most of these are ITOs, information technology officers in the field, and you folks won't it's highly likely that most of you will not have this many buddies unless you've set them up specifically. Um, so <clears throat> I do want to say that you'll probably have four or five or six over here, depending on how many of us are at work. Uh, the NWS chat admin team in this area, you'll often see some of us in there. And don't be confused by the bot. You cannot send it a message. It's just there as the owner of all rooms. Um, just to minimize buddies now, I won't return to that menu unless there's a specific question. Um, I do want to touch base on chat room bookmarks. This is a very important menu. You can see um, I'm actually in Des Moines, for most of you uh, that don't know me. Uh, so I am often in our DMX chat room. This is the one for the media. I, I want to reiterate to everyone on the call that in the agency chat rooms, for example, NCRFC or CBRFC agencies chat, any of those, there shall be no media. They are prohibited from entering through a technical means. We don't just tell them they can't, but there just isn't. It cannot happen um, due to uh, uh, technical controls that we have implemented. So if you need to co collaborate over highly technical or, or issues that may not be 100% certain uh, with, with your GS, uh, core and weather service partners, feel free to do so. Uh, that information isn't going to get out in an uncontrolled fashion because of chat, at least, and, and be used in a manner that it should not be used. These are quite secure rooms. Um, so uh, this, this is just a, think of this as a just like bookmarks uh, that you have in your browser. It's just a quick way to get to specific rooms that you use on a day-to-day -day basis. Before I elaborate more on any of the bookmarks, I would like to talk about uh, the chat rooms area. And this is where you can see all of the chat rooms that are available to you uh, as a weather service, a core, or a USGS user. Now, mine hasn't loaded all the way yet. There's a whole bunch of rooms. So I'm just going to leave that alone and let it load. There, it kind of came in. There, now you see that there's a whole bunch more. So we're going to return to this. This is how you would get into a room the very first time and save it as a bookmark. Before I do that, I'm going to address some of the other areas of uh, our interface, and then I'll return to adding chat rooms. Um, uh, over here, um, we have layers control. We won't dwell on this too much, but you can overlay various uh, meteorological and political boundary type information, uh, whether it's satellite, um, various types of radar data. Right now you see just simply base reflectivity and a national scale overlaid on a Google map. You can choose to have no radar. Perhaps you want to see estimated uh, Q2 day one precip or even one hour. Um, other things you can see forecasts and uh, convective outlooks and then a few political boundaries here. Uh, nothing specific to any sort of uh, core or uh, GS districts, but uh, perhaps in the future if there was a desire, those could be, uh, we could at least look into getting those added. I don't know how useful that would be. Um, up here, and we'll see this later, I can have various views of the maps. And then uh, finally, the most important area is this bottom half of this display where we'll eventually see some chat rooms open up in tabs across this area. Right now we have the All Chats tab. When you first log in, it is always going to be empty. And we're going to touch base on that and a whole bunch of other chat rooms that we're going to add right now. So I am going to go ahead and go back to the chat room bookmarks. And Before I do that, I should actually add a chat room like you folks are going to do. 
So let's go ahead and uh, add um, one that I don't have already. So let's add the Missouri River Basin RFC chat room as a bookmark. So we'll scroll down to the M's and note that there are a couple of different RFC book, uh, 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 chat rooms uh, for a given basin. In this case, there's the Missouri Basin RFC chat and the Missouri Basin RFC agencies chat. You folks are all going to want to be in, in a given RFC's agency's chat room. Uh, that's where the RFC's expect you to be, and that's where you can uh, work in a collaborative fashion with the GS, the Weather Service, and, and the Corps all in one room. And uh, so that will keep everyone on the same page. So simply to enter that room the first time, we're going to just uh, a single click on it. Um, now a new window has opened. And there is the chat room name, MBRFC Agencies Chat. My chat handle always defaults to my username. Now this is where I, I said that I would return to the handles business uh, earlier. So let's go ahead and talk about chat handles and handle naming convention. Again, this is just a nickname that folks uh, can better uh, identify you with. Um, so if, if you look here, my initial handle is not overly descriptive. At least you know my name and who I work for, but you don't know where uh, or, or what district or RFC or weather service office I might work at. So here's the uh, suggested uh, naming convention for, for the Corps, for the GS, and for the weather service for those folks that are on here. Um, it can be as simple as, a, and mixed case is fine, um, probably not all uppercase, it may look like you're yelling. Uh, but uh, beyond that, just, just who you're working for, your office, and your last name uh, if you so desire. So there's a good example right there as I click too far. Um, uh, or for the GS. And if you don't choose to use your last name uh, because of personal preference, that's fine. Uh, just again, use your, your organization, your office, and your position. So in my case, that would be ITO, which isn't overly descriptive perhaps, but at least it's something in there. I'm going to stop right here and ask if there are any questions on what we've had so far or, or specifically on the handle naming convention. If there are any, please unmute your phone with uh, uh, star six, I believe, and, and go ahead and ask those. This is Mike Lukes. Uh, I already have a handle, but it's not um, conforming. How do you change your handle? Sure. That's easy. Uh, we'll, we'll touch base on that uh, momentarily as we uh, essentially you just edit your bookmark. But uh, we'll, we'll do that. Thanks. That's a great question and was not on my talk about list. Anything else? Okay, let's go ahead. Going back to NWS chat interface, let's go ahead and put in here um, my, my handle. I'm just going to have that as NWS DMX or lowercase DMX, which is my office, and uh, of course uh, my last name. I'm going to save the bookmark. Okay, that means it's going to go over here in this chat room bookmarks area. You'll see there is no MBRFC agencies chat in this room at this or in this area at this time. I'm going to name this something uh, less cryptic and call it MB. MBR RFC agencies chat. Uh, typically, you're not going to be in these as a monitor or read only. Uh, you're actually going to want to interact with folks that are in there. And if you if you're in this room every day, this is this RFC agencies chat room covers your district or part of your district. You, if you log into chat, you're typically going to want to actually auto join the room. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. And we're going to join the room for the first time here. And you'll see that it ended up over here in the chat room bookmarks area. If I log out right now, log, uh, exit the browser even, and come back into live, that will be there as soon as I log in because it's stored server side. And then you just single click it uh, if you did not choose auto join. Otherwise, as soon as I log in with my user ID and password, it just joins that room. 
and that's what's great. And if, if your area includes a couple of RFCs or three or ever how many, feel free to set those to all auto join upon login, and that's when you save that. So notice I'm over here in the lower right uh, as NWS DMX Searcy. Um, I see a bunch of other folks in here as well. Um, there, there was a question on how you change that handle. Well, let's, let's do that. Uh, I'm going to exit the room by clicking in the tab, the little small X in the tab. I'm going to single click it again, single left click over there, and I'm going to now add my, let's just say we'll, we'll add Shane.Searcy, something like that. We want to save that bookmark again ensure that it's saved so that it takes that handle change. Then join the room. And now you'll see I'm over here as NWS DMX Shane.Searcy in the lower right. Okay. Let's go ahead and talk about, uh, uh, let's say that I overlap with the multiple uh, RFCs for whatever job I have in the uh, USGS or the core. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on this NCRFC Agencies chat room. Actually, I'll single click. It'll open that window. If I still need to edit my chat handle, I can. Let's save it, and then we'll join the room. Okay, great. Now I'm in there. Um, notice I'm in there differently here because I did not edit that handle. I saved this chat room bookmark earlier today, but I just used my last name not my first. Okay, so now you'll notice up here in this central horizontal area I have multiple tabs. Um, within here are uh, messages from humans or the bot. Uh, and anytime there's a bot message, typically there's going to be a, a URL or something clickable on that. So I'll go ahead and click on it, and, and that is a uh, the text message that was sent from uh, the uh, uh, appropriate weather service office, or in this in this case, an RFC uh, up at Chanhassen. Uh, I do want to add here that uh, the bot messages are very quick. Typically, that information is sent and available on the NWS chat web website right here uh, within a couple of seconds versus waiting to go to weather.gov and going to a, a page you may use somehow that you have to keep hitting refresh on. This information is uh, uh, sent and stored and available for display very, very quickly. And I recommend using these links if, if possible. Um, I do want to touch base really here on this all chats. Now, I just entered these rooms, and there's not been a whole lot of traffic uh, in these rooms since I entered over the last few minutes. When you enter rooms, and, if, and, and until there is new traffic in any of those rooms, all chats will remain blank for reading purposes. So there's no messages up here in this message area. Um, if you want to send a specific message to just uh, one chat room, you can do that in one of two ways. Um, if you primarily communicate only to one RFC, you may just open their tab from, from the bookmarks area and then communicate in this typing area. Today, for any tests we do, we're going to preface with capitalized test. And then I hit the send button over here on the right. Enter does the same thing, the enter button on the keyboard. Notice in all chats, that has now showed up. It is not in the MBRFC agency's chat, however. To get something to go into every tab that you may have open, if, if it needs to go in every agency's chat room, you would go to the All Chats tab. Again, you'll be able to read here. Everything that comes into any of those tabs goes in this page. However, anything you type down here in the typing area Test number two, and then I hit the two room button. An interface will pop up. There's the message that's going to be sent. I can say I want it to go to one 
or both, or of course I can cancel. In this case, I'm going to send it to both by hitting send message. Notice it came back two times in the all chats room because it showed up in both MBRFC and NCRFC agencies chat. It is also in the MBRFC agencies chat now and NC. So that's kind of how that all chats uh, works. It keeps you from cutting and pasting and copying messages that may need to go to a couple of different areas. So, so that's a really nice feature that works pretty well in this latest version of NWS chat. I'm going to stop right here for a minute and uh, see if there are any questions relating to some of what we've talked about so far. Go ahead. Uh, Shane, this is Bob Holmes. Uh, one thing you might want to point out is that they can hide the NWS bot if they choose to by that uh, button up at the top. Uh, sure, sure, Bob. Go into, uh, well, any of the chat rooms, that's a great point. Let's say um, I don't, in, I'm not interested for whatever reason in uh, bot messages uh, for a given chat room. So you can click the hide bot messages and you'll never, the hide bot button and you'll never see the messages for that room. I'm trying to figure out, I don't ever use that button. Apparently that works for... Yeah, you can turn it on and off too, so if you're just yeah. looking for the uh, human uh, traffic, you can turn the NWS bot off temporarily, find the message you're after, and, and then turn it back on. That's a great point, Bob, for, so you can see, uh, so you're not too cluttered with those bot messages. So, for example, when you come in in the morning or you've been out in the field, you come back in, you want to see what's been going on, uh, you know, you, you can hide all those bot messages, which in flooding situations can get pretty verbose. So that's a great point. Thanks, Bob. Is there anything else there right now? Okay, well, we'll just keep going here. Um, I think right now, I, I was experimenting with this feature up here uh, this morning. It works pretty well. Um, notice up here in the Google Map panel, uh, I have a down arrow key uh, button just to the right of a, of a sheriff's badge, if you will. Um, Google uh, NWS Chat Live has the capability of storing five favorite views. Um, you see my default, I call it the Midwest, I guess. Uh, but maybe I'm, uh, sometimes I work over in the, the northeast part of the country and I want to see what's going on. Uh, so I can set specific views. You can have those zoomed in. Um, the, the view that is number one here at the top is what is always loaded when you uh, log into NWS chat. Uh, this view, uh, I actually overlaid uh, RFC boundaries and state boundaries. Those will load up in a second. There's the state, and the RFC boundaries will be sp split through here once they load. So uh, briefly, uh, just to add those views, you would set the, map, set the Google map up as you see fit at the appropriate zoom center and zoom level, along with whatever you want over here. Let's say I'm interested not in radar, so no overlay for radar, but I'm interested in the QPF. So there's what I'm interested in, and that's the view that I want to save. So I go to, I set it all up, then I choose Edit Favorites, and uh, we'll call it Shane's QPF. I set it from Current View, and then I can save settings. If I change my view then, I can come back and see what, I'm look, what I expect to see. Um, let's see, um, you can also adjust um, the, the, how opaque the radar is um, there. Maybe for whatever reason it's too bright for you, you can adjust that. That's what this does. And, and the tools menu, um, more for, for weather service offices and emergency managers if you're interested in where the LSRs are. Uh, and what they were. That's some of what that does, but I won't bore you too much more with that. Um, let's see. I think I'm ready to talk about, uh, so when you're ready to log out, which I won't do right yet, but actions, log out, it's that simple. 
Um, if you need a little bit of help, you can find that over here in the help menu, uh, the help tab. Kind of has some recent changes mentioned, and unfortunately that is, of course, not March of 2013. That's March of 2012. Uh, the last time we were able to make changes, uh, we're actually getting ready to upload a whole bunch of changes to the whole NWS chat program, including some live uh, changes. So what those are, I'm not 100% sure, but we hope to have that done in a week or two. Uh, and, and when that happens, of course, this page will be updated. There are a, a few other uh, notes in here. Um, not a whole lot of help, uh, so your best way to get help is, is typically either with your local IT person for connectivity issues, such as firewall problems. That shouldn't be a problem with NWS Chat Live, which is why it was invented, uh, because it works over port 80. Um, but uh, if, if they're unable to help, please feel free to drop a, a, an email message to nwschatadmin at noaa.gov. Those of us on the team will get back just as soon as we can to you. So. Um, I think right now uh, I have touched base on, on most things. Um, let's just uh, practice. Uh, if, if you have an account and you feel comfortable and you're ready, you can see how uh, we could go ahead and uh, enter a test message into a chat room. And uh, feel free to do so in your particular agency's chat room. Uh, your cooperating RFC. Uh, if you've already requested an account that's been approved, should have already set you up to enter the appropriate room. So if you do that, please just put test in front of your message. So I'll ask for questions uh, once more, and uh, um, we'll, see, we'll see how that goes. If, the, if you have any questions, please come now. I, I have one just for kind of discussion, so this Mike Luke's good. Yes. Uh, a lot of times in the heat of battle and you want to send multi-line messages and you hit enter and it sends a message. Is there any way to turn that off? And that would be particularly helpful in kind of formatting data? Yes, I understand. I don't have an answer to that question right now. Yeah. I use cut and paste a lot and that uh, obviously, uh, eliminates <laughs> That, that enters, so if you could preformat data sometimes and then just cut and paste it, you know, the line feeds. Uh, sure. I'll, I'll, I'll turn that in or at least ask, and I think uh, uh, no matter what, you'll get a response back to me probably through uh, Noreen and the Fusion team. Sure. Thank you. Okay. Well, I, I appreciate everyone's uh, attention today and interest in NWS chat, and we're always available for help. Uh, even on nights and weekends, we uh, most of us check our emails then, and uh, if we can't fix it remotely uh, or help you with email, we'll certainly do so first thing uh, uh, the next business day. Um, with that, thank you, and uh, I appreciate being of assistance. At least I hope I was. Take it away, Noreen. I think you sure were, Shane. Thank you so much.